for this question, multiply everything out, so we end up with sec squared x plus sec squared x tan squared x. Now what we have here, that will integrate straight away to make tan x, so no need to manipulate this. This, on the other hand, the best way to integrate that would be to realize that it is of the form of the integral of f dash x multiplied by f of x to the power of n, where f of x in this case is tan x, so tan x differentiates to make sec squared x, hence why our f of x is tan x, it's tan x to the power of 2, and tan x differentiates to make sec squared x. So, remember that what we do when we have a scenario like this is we consider f of x to the power of n plus 1, which in this case would be tan cubed x. This tan cubed x should differentiate to make what we have over here. It may be off by a constant, so now we will differentiate this to figure out what that constant would be. So use the chain rule. u is equal to tan x. Differentiate each of these parts, 3u squared du dx is sec squared x. Multiply these two things together, we end up with 3u squared. So u squared, remember, is tan squared. So this becomes 3 tan squared x sec squared x. Okay, so this is the same as what we have here, as we expect, but it's off by a factor of 3. So multiply this by a third. That carries through. You'll get a third here as well. These two will cancel. And now, if you have a third in front here, the differential of this gives you exactly sec squared x tan squared x. So therefore, this integrates to make that. All right, so then our answer would be the integral of sec squared x would become tan x, and the integral of sec squared x tan squared x would be a third of tan cubed x plus c.